Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Vegan View. So in today's episode, we wanted to chat a little bit about how to navigate the holidays as a vegan. So the holidays are coming up and I know this is a hard time for everyone um, who is vegan and has made that ethical decision not mm. to participate in cruelty and how do you guys navigate it? What's been your experience in the past? So this was like the first, I, I'm starting to get um, like Friendsgiving invitations mm-hmm. and maybe I'm just more aware of it now but um, I feel like this is the first time like Friendsgiving has been a thing but it's been by like my friends who aren't vegan and I'm just like, I don't know how I feel about going to a Friendsgiving and like, I feel like I'm kind of participating in mm-hmm. it. I, like, I don't want to see a dead animals or dead, you know, or animal pro- byproducts. And I feel like, okay, I'm going to bring a little vegan dish and then what? I'm, what am I going to eat? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm going to literally, everyone's going to want what I made, of course. Of and course. what am I going to eat? Because y'all ain't making nothing vegan. Yeah. So I feel like that's one thing I've been like, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do Friendsgivings. Like, I don't, yeah. what am I supposed to make a dish? And then like, what am I supposed to eat? Just my yeah. dish? Like, yeah. I don't get that. Unless yeah. it's like a vegan Friendsgiving or yeah. a vegan like, mm-hmm. you know, Friendsgiving potluck. Right, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. I've been to one Friendsgiving that wasn't vegan and yeah, it was hard. Like, I remember we brought our own little roast, and then it was kind of awkward because we're, like, heating them up in the microwave. And it's then, like, like, oh, what do you have over there? And then, like, Is that the vegan one? What sides did you have? Because no one made vegan sides, I'm sure. Yeah, no. I think I think we brought, like, one veggie side. Yeah. Like, I think I brought, like, Brussels sprouts or something. But then everyone's like going to eat that one. And- yeah. <laughs> But it's just also so isolating. Again, it puts a spotlight on you because it's like, I brought my own meal that I'm going to have over here by myself that's yeah. different than everyone else's. Right. And like you said, I wouldn't be able to handle like looking at a dead animal because yeah. I yeah. can't look past that. I don't think I can do it, y'all. Yeah, yeah, I know. Luckily, like for me, like my uh, parents were very supportive when I went vegan. So we did a couple of vegan Thanksgivings before we moved to LA. Yeah. And then um, here we did our own little like Friendsgiving and like we would invite friends over. Over. That's Brendan, what I like to do. Brendan mm-hmm. would cook. That way it's like, everything's vegan. Come if you would like. Don't yeah. bring anything dead. Don't bring anything that's not vegan. Exactly. exactly. And yeah. this year we're doing a little Friendsgiving situation and everyone that's going is vegan. So yeah. I think oh, it's, nice. you know, you just go where it, it's safe and you're comfortable if you can, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. But how do you guys feel about people who, you know, maybe don't have the option of Friendsgiving and they still live at home with their families or their families are very traditional and it's like you have to sit and you have to be a part of it. Well, that's me. I live, so I live with my parents, as as I've said in many, many, many episodes. (laughs) Still working on that. Um, But yeah, I mean, almost every meal that I sit down to with my parents, regardless of the holiday season, you know, they're eating something not vegan. So I think it's sort of like a, I'm numbed to it. Yeah, I don't like to look at it. But also, you know, like, I, I live with them. Every time I open my fridge, I see things that aren't vegan. So, like, I'm not, like, so bothered by it. Like, I would be bothered by it if it was, like, on my plate. Then it would, like, you know, be gross. But, like, yeah. if it's there, it's just, like, it's just part of my life. And just I just kind of have to deal with it. So I'm just kind of <laughs> numb to it. But obviously when we have people over it's like the teasing and like the this and the that or like oh come on just eat steak or oh come on don't you miss this or oh what is the you know like that kind of stuff it's like uh it's you you have to deal with it yeah I think it's just it's part of the being vegan unfortunately um it's just a lot of people will try to make fun of you um make you feel silly for you know for Mm -hmm. having these ethical values that you have and you withhold yeah um (laughs) I mean, I so I think you don't have to deal with it, though. You know, yeah. I think that you you're probably a little more used to it, and I think yeah. you you have pretty thick skin as well. But I just think about you know if I were a teenager and I I was a very sensitive teenager, <laughs> she had a lot of emotions, um, <laughs> and I think that that would have been really hard for me if I yeah. had to like sit and have people like make comments and make fun of me, and I would have probably just went to my room and like been dramatic. just been I've been dramatic or just set boundaries yes. Melina <laughs> Sorry, boundaries boundaries yes 
yeah. you know it's like I think I think you have to go with what it, you have to protect your peace at all costs and yeah. if that if if it's important for you to still be a part of the dinner the holiday meals and participate in that and you feel like you can endure you know people saying stuff or teasing you then then do that if that's a priority but also I think there's no shame in just being like you know what I'm gonna sit this out I don't really feel respected and you know I'm just gonna Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna yeah. hang out in my room. Let me know when you guys are done, and we can all, yeah. you know, hang out and watch a movie after or something. It's also a great opportunity to clap back. Yeah, because when someone says something to you, then you can return the sass and be like, "Haha, how's that carcass looking?" <laughs> With like stuff like bread filling up the ass. <laughs> you know, Literally, how was it fisting a turkey all day today? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Making those kinds of comments and then just like returning it with the same smile. It's like, "Haha, we're yeah. both being assholes right now." Oh, yeah. And then that's mm-hmm. another thing about like friendsgivings and stuff. Like. I don't want to talk about veganism. Yeah. Like I said, I just want to party and yeah. kick it. Like, because yeah. then it gives everyone the opportunity like, oh, I was vegan once. Or, oh, oh, you're mm. vegan. Oh, and like, yeah. Come yeah. On, I'm doing human. I tried to do it. Yeah. Couldn't do it. No one asked Margaret. No one asked. Like, we're yeah. at Friendsgiving. You know? <laughs> it's just another opportunity for everyone to like. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you just want to feel normal because, you know, we are yeah. actually normal. Yeah. yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Just people we're who don't normal. support cruelty. But yeah. yeah, it's literally an invitation for people to roast you because the whole day centers around yeah. food and mass amounts of food and just stuff in your face you can't avoid it so it's yeah. gonna you come think up it's okay then to be like you know what last year like if, if you've been through it and like you know how it's gonna be and you're like you could just say like last year I didn't feel super welcome and I I'm gonna do Thanksgiving you know vegan Thanksgiving with my friends a hundred percent I think that yeah. you are entitled to setting those boundaries for yourself like mm-hmm. why would you want to torture yourself and like basically go in front of your family and their friends or whoever your uncle your aunt whatever yeah. and just have all of them basically bullying you because at the end of the day it does end up it, it, you just feel like you're being bullied that's yeah. what it is when people are yeah. negatively commenting on what you're choosing to eat and being very judgmental about it that's a form of bullying because we're not doing that to them like no yeah. and you? it's sensitive like yeah. i remember my first thanksgiving after you know being vegan I thought I was gonna be okay and then I sat down and I saw the bird Mm -hmm. the dead bird's body and the outline of it and all the little and I was like this is horrendous that everybody sits around this with these happy faces you know talking about stuffing the butt and like laughing about it and like it's just it's it's sick so it's it's an emotional thing to go through even being vegan for a long time, I think we do get, get kind of like, you know, desensitized to it at a certain point. But there's mm-hmm. still, if you really think about it, it can still be sad and, yeah. and hard. Yeah. And then to on top of that, have to have somebody bully you. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, it's you hard. don't deserve to go through that. Yeah. And it sucks because you want to spend time with your family and yeah. your friends. And you, you want that time together. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I want to go to Friendsgivings and like, mm-hmm. you know, commune with people. But yeah. Yeah. I do feel like if you're at home, like, if you can, if you're able to, make some vegan recipes Mm -hmm. to bring to the table, you know? Mm -hmm. I think it's also, like, you know, depending on how you want to approach the situation, too, it's a good time to set boundaries. So, let's say, like, you do have a bunch of people over and they're not vegan because you live at home or it's just, you know, your friend group or whatever. Um, You know, it's it's a good time to set boundaries by being firm and maybe not being so nice and being like, listen, I like it. This is my choice. It's my life. So, I would appreciate it if you know, you kept your opinions to yourself mm-hmm. because that's kind of like cutting and it's kind of like, oh, all right. Yeah. But you know what? They'll think twice before they make that. Yeah. Because you know, you know, I think choice. a lot of times people make jokes like more to make themselves feel less guilty. Yeah. Like if they're yeah. making light of it, they feel less guilty about it. Yeah. And so they're expecting you to just laugh it off sometimes. Right. Yeah. They yeah. Make, like people like teasing other people, but they also don't realize that because it's an ethical, you know, it's an ethical motivator. It you know, it, it does hurt you, and it's, like, it's not something, like, oh, you're wearing blue shoes today, oh, yeah. no, you, you know what I mean? It's, like, something that's, like, much deeper. And you're also most important. of the time right. on your own, like, in those situations. Yeah. That's what they yes. realize. It's not, like, you and, like... And a gang in yes, us. You, like, if it was us four, no, what? <laughs> bring it, baby. It's usually just you. Yeah. Just by yourself. By and yourself. all these people are chiming in and yeah. attacking you for just making an ethical choice. And I will say, I do, I'm not suggesting in any way that you stray away from these conversations, because if you're sitting at the table and there's a corpse sitting in front of you and someone feels the need to attack you because you have the strength to 
make your own meal and sit down and you're brave enough to sit down at this table knowing that you're probably going to get attacked have that conversation snap back be yeah. like oh okay well yeah this looks more appetizing to me than this corpse that is baked yeah, yeah. You know? it's a dead animal a dead on animal. the it's, table it's, that's been cooked and seasoned huh <laughs> and like you know if they want to make things awkward for you go and make things a little awkward for them exactly because then it's like oh you you want to have this discussion right now with 20 other people sure show me like your medical record show me like, cl- your cholesterol okay <laughs> that um, honestly yes exactly because yeah. a lot so, of the family members yeah so that's so that's i think that's that boundary the setting so, so they're the ones that have something they, they always yeah. and they're the ones chowing down on the mac and cheese yeah. and the the animals yeah. but like i see that as boundary setting because yes. when they come over f- for you know like christmas or hanukkah or whatever you celebrate or kwanzaa when they come over next time they're like oh i remember i said something last they're time like, she was upset. gonna be a little yeah. more so, careful this yeah. time yeah, maybe. maybe next time they'll be like looks good you know what i mean and yeah they'll be like that's right uncle bob you don't have anything to say this time do yeah. you yeah <laughs> right you should try it it might help some things yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work to make like your own full thanksgiving spread yeah. oh, but for sure. i've done it um my husband and i and then my sister-in-law we usually like tag team the vegan <laughs> meal mm-hmm. the whole time and like it is just so nice to have an option mm-hmm. of everything and every year our plate just looks so colorful yes. and yeah. beautiful Ugh. it just like stands out it's like yes. yeah you know it's, oh it gosh. is worth it if you can get yourself there's so many shortcuts mm-hmm. that you can do like you know you could do yeah. the frozen roast you can you can get you know pre-cut veggies and and stuff like that you can Ugh. you can make it easier yeah. on yourself i've seen but. some people post their plates of their regular thanksgiving meal and it's just all brown yeah. Just brown. And brown. it's like, and then you look at your vegan friends and it's like colors, colors. and it just like all yeah. looks so pleasant and it like literally looks festive. It looks like fall. Yeah. Yeah. And it's enjoyable. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that fully brown plate. Yeah, I can see why you would argue on behalf of that. Yeah. yeah. Not, I mean, that's, that's, I say protect your peace. Like if you're being bullied and you don't want to put up with it, you don't have to sit at that table. Yeah. But right. also, if you can, like you could be such an activist in your mm-hmm. own way by like, yeah just eating beautiful food like every time every thanksgiving you know we have family members that are like yeah. oh what's that yeah exactly oh, what's that? Mm-hmm. and then they this might is, want to try this is mm-hmm. fiber i see none on yours so one of us is gonna have a problem going to the bathroom tonight <laughs> one of us isn't going to the bathroom for three days the yeah. other one <laughs> i do not miss that i remember yeah. that about thanksgiving that actually huge food but baby yeah. and like feeling so sleepy and everyone and just sick. sitting on the couch just like yeah. just we're like up coma. for seconds by like three hours I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah oh for sure <laughs> yeah. i spent a thanksgiving with you once yeah. and like your family and like your aunt made vegan stuff my aunt made, made so stuff. many vegan things yeah and we had yeah, and like thanks. they were eating non-vegan stuff and like it was no we all got to eat together and yeah. like it was so nice yeah. that's See, one thing I just, I just thought of um a really good tip that you can do is like if you're close with the person who's cooking the majority of the food so many things can easily be made yeah. vegan like yeah. green bean casseroles you know any kind of veggies can be made yeah. vegan. mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes mm-hmm. easy to make mm-hmm. vegan mm-hmm. yeah so you can like be like oh hey could we swap out this butter for this yeah. butter and exactly. like ask yeah. for like yeah. little exactly. mods and exactly. then suddenly all the sides are vegan yeah, yeah. yeah. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Because I I've been to Thanksgivings in the past where all the sides were vegan, and then the only thing that wasn't was the meat, yeah. and then that just makes it so much so much less awkward. Exactly, yeah. like, and it's a nice compromise because yes. it's like, hey, you like let's all eat together. Like at least we can yeah. all eat this, some of the same stuff. I'm like they won't miss it. They really won't. Yeah, like, no, especially won't. like with something like butter. It's like it tastes the same. It tastes yeah. the same. It tastes and and you'll feel better. better. Yeah. Yes, you'll feel better. I'm really looking forward to cooking this year. Like, I'm really excited. Last year I cooked and, like, we had non-vegans over and, like, everyone enjoyed everything. And I'm excited to cook this year because, like, I throw it down. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the best option. Honestly, mm-hmm. have you be the host. Have yes. people come over to your yeah. house because then you're in control of the cooking. Mm-hmm. They can't say anything because they're literally in your home mm-hmm. and you did all the work for them. So I think that's the best way to avoid it if you can. And, you know, if you live on yeah. your own. What if you don't cook? I was going to say, if you don't cook. No. If you don't. Oh, you can, oh well, there's so much stuff you can get. If you don't cook, yeah, there's so many, like, you know, there's frozen the things. frozen tofurkeys, and like you said, there's the pies, the pumpkin pies. Yeah. And, and the pumpkin there's, ve- there's vegan restaurants, like Veggie Grill, for say. example. Yes. Yeah. Like, there's vegan places, Veggie Grill, Whole Foods, like, there's places that you can buy vegan yeah. Thanksgiving yeah. packaging. I saw that Veggie Grill has one that serves four to six people, yeah. and it's $75, which is, like, honestly not bad. Yeah, if you like, split that 
girlfriends. An ingredient. Oh yeah, and, yeah. and sure. cooking time. Like, sure. yeah. And it's like fun to have something that like you know is gonna taste good because like the pros made it, and you're just mm-hmm. like, okay, yeah. I don't have to deal with this. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. exactly. That's, that's like a really good option. And and then maybe like even if you don't have a vegan restaurant nearby, like maybe there are some restaurants that like have like a vegan option, yeah. like in their little package thing yeah. for cooking. If it like just any shortcuts you can make, yeah. like yeah. you know maybe some maybe some place has a really good salad. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. Get the salad instead of making your own. Like, yeah. You know? But also, this might not be a popular opinion, but like, you know, think outside the box. You really can't have like a vegan turkey roast anytime if it's like complicated or complex or like things have run out. Like, you can order sushi for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like, yeah. I and like Chinese food. Or Chinese food. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, I've done that. I've, that's, that's I've done that for Christmas so much. Me where, too. like, I just like get takeout and I get Chinese food yep. from like Garden Walk, yep. Spice and Reseda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. All because they're open. Nothing else is open. But, like, on uh, December 25th, they're open. They and I get takeout are? and yeah. eat, like, a ridiculous amount of uh, orange chicken. Their mushroom orange chicken. Yes, that is so good. good. Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't, I don't have to eat whatever. Yeah. You know, I was thinking whatever about making meal. vegan crab cakes for. Thanksgiving. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah you don't exactly. have to, or, you know, pizza, like, yeah, I it doesn't like it there. There honest. are no True. rules. Like, who cares? Like, yeah. do whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you're if you're not gonna spend it with your family, like you guys are so right. Like, create your own traditions. Like, yeah. it's it's like yeah. I know that there's like a specific traditional Thanksgiving menu yeah. that you're supposed to have, but no, you're not actually. Yeah. You can you do start whatever your own you tradition. want. Do like, whatever you, you want to. Especially like if you don't want to cook and it's stressful to go and find like a like a vegan like package thing that serves four to six people or however many people you're gonna have. Mm-hmm. Just get something else. Yeah, because yeah. maybe you know a lot of you guys. I think I've uh, seen your comments and stuff saying that like you live in a place that maybe doesn't have vegan food as yeah. easily accessible as it is to us. We're yeah. very very lucky to live in LA, but yeah, just just swap things out, change the ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't cook, like I'm telling you, there's a lot of frozen things that are accidentally vegan, mm-hmm. so you can yeah. build your own little like things. Yeah, Marie yeah. Callender's fruit pies, yeah. accidentally Ooh. vegan. Yeah, you could bring it's that crazy. to the the potluck. The Friends and then people yeah. see Marie Callender's and they're not like, oh, it's vegan. Oh my yeah, god! Like, oh, it's a pie. You they get all to eat dessert they're with like, everyone else. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that every year because I, I am not going to try to bake pie. Is it oh, good? No. It's so good. Yeah. 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 Trader Joe's also has that pumpkin cinnamon roll thing mm-hmm. that you can bake mm-hmm. in. Yeah. yeah. You just try Tra- seven oh my of gosh. those. And- yes. If any of you guys are close to a Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's is the best for holiday stuff. They have stuff. so they many have things. They have so many options. That so you guys many can, things. Every yeah. day. Every t- every day. Every, every day. time I go to... Every, <laughs> every single day. day. Every single day. Every all the songs is at Trader Joe's. <laughs> when I do go to Trader Joe's, I feel like every time I go, I see a new thing. Like, I saw a new, like, vegan meat lovers pizza. So it just has, like, a bunch of, like, vegan meat. Oh, yeah, we should do the taste test. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, you missed that That's one. That's what it's happens so when you travel for a living. <laughs> you miss out on pizza. Aww. It's really good. It's kind of like going to, it's, like, missing class, like, on a Friday, the day they have pizza day, and you're like, oh, I don't want to have pizza. Or when, when there's a substitute teacher and they watch a movie. Yeah. And yeah. then you weren't there. Ugh. Literally every single time I go, they have a new item. Side note, I yeah. really? don't have to make it, but they have this new chickpea masala, like, salad and oh the, can, the orange one yes oh it's, my, so, it's good. so good we got it when we went camping and we were just ate the whole thing yeah like a delicious like a wrap you could, i mean oh yeah like God. a sandwich so good. yeah yeah what would you guys do i mean i think we're all pretty spicy so we would probably clap <laughs> back to uncle bob when he has something to oh, say yeah. but if somebody wants to participate in thanksgiving dinner they're getting some comments they don't really want to like get into it. They don't feel confident enough. I know like the first year I was vegan, I was like, I do not feel confident yeah. enough to spit facts at people right yeah. now. Like mm-hmm. I don't know yet yeah. enough to say anything. Yeah. So how, like, what would you say then? Have like a, your response kind of like go back to, it goes back to what I said earlier. Just, you know, this is what works for me right now. You know, I would appreciate it if you respected my choice. Mm-hmm. I think that I I was in that situation. It wasn't Thanksgiving, but I was in Bulgaria with my dad and, you know, the whole family is there. And it was like a big family dinner and they were eating chicken. And it was, I think I had been vegan for like one year at that point. And I was, um, I told them like, I don't eat meat, I don't eat whatever. And my dad was trying to like help explain it, but it's like... in a country that eats meat so heavily, they were like, we'll just have the chicken. And I remember I was like, not comfortable to yeah. be spicy to yeah. be like well, I yeah. told you I'm not gonna eat it you know like yeah. which normally now at this point in my life I would <laughs> well, be like I told you I'm not gonna eat it <laughs> I said I'm not eating that <laughs> well, especially okay? if it's like family that genuinely like are like maybe older and genuinely just don't get it they yeah. just don't understand and like they're not trying I to sensed. be malicious they're just like yeah. wait but you eat fish they literally right? were right. not being malicious yeah. they like were not coming like, from a bad place just kind of yeah. like trying to 
just have they were just like okay well then you can have the chicken and I'm like oh my god he's being serious he's not like trying to like mock me or anything he literally is like well you can have the chicken and then I was like well I don't want to and then I'm trying to explain to him like you know it's not about like health stuff it's just like I think it's cruel to hurt the animals so I think there is a nice way to like explain that because there really is no argument at the end of the day yeah there There is no response to that there is no and there wasn't they they really like left me alone (laughs) and they were like he did say he goes the chickens are fine you saw them running around today right and I was like well I like seeing them running around not dead and plucked the chickens here. are fine <laughs> yeah but when so, you say something like that where like it puts like the ball in their court like so especially when you're at that place where you don't feel comfortable to like clap back or like you don't you know if they come at you with like well agriculture 15 percent, you know oh just like God. when you're not like there yet I mean I'm I feel like I, I have to look things up like I'm not there 100 percent of the time mm-hmm. um you know like if you re- if you say something like that like this is my choice I would appreciate it if you respected that and then because then it's like okay Mm -hmm. yeah because then you know it gets serious it's almost like they never have anything to say to that because it's like it's almost like you're harassing me right now I'm just trying to eat some mashed potatoes and honestly you can just keep repeating that if they keep pressing it yeah I already said this is my choice I wish you would respect that because then they have to feel like they have to feel like an asshole after that it's like okay now I feel like I'm just like yeah being a pest yeah Yeah. Yeah. sometimes if you joke back then they just keep they keep going exactly and sometimes just ignoring them and like paying them no mind giving them no energy makes them feel even more stupid just pretending like you didn't yeah like you didn't even hear them I do that a lot too like sorry what yeah I just mind my own business yeah. because honey you do not want me <laughs> to <laughs> respond to you yeah. so if I'm ignoring you <laughs> sometimes Friday all you need best. is one of these <laughs> yeah yeah trust me that's it yeah. trust it's, me it you don't more. want more than that yeah. or it's gonna get unpretty so my answer to your question I guess <clears throat> summarized is the one thing that I have found that works perfectly if you don't want to get argumentative I just simply say, I really like animals. I don't want to eat them. I don't want to hurt them. I don't want to contribute to their pain and suffering. And 99% of the time, if you're not dealing with an absolute asshole, they will leave you alone. They will back off. If I try to argue health, if I try to argue those types of facts, they always have something to say. They always read some article and researched something or whatever. And I just don't want to get into it anymore. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to eat and enjoy life. So I don't know what it is about like, when you bring up vegan, all of a sudden everyone's a health expert. Everyone's like, a health I'm expert. Sorry, are you a scientist? Are you a diet, registered dietitian? Like yeah. I, I don't care what article you read because there's yeah. a ton of biased articles out there, as we all know. So yeah. shut up. Yeah, when <laughs> the also, one article you read. Also, it's like it's been proven that when people think a certain way, when they do research on it, they Google things that, that confirm what yeah. they believe. Yeah, like they're not like if you know. Like, let's say Joy, hypothetically, like, disagrees that milk is bad for you. She's going to Google why milk is good for you as opposed to, how, like, pros and cons of milk. Or right. is milk bad for me? You know, yeah. right, people right. normally, like, go to their belief system. Right. It's so, confirmation bias, right? Right, confirmation Go- bias. Your yeah. Google kind of, like, starts to, like, understand. Yeah. Like, feeds you that stuff. Feeds you that mm-hmm. stuff. I think yeah. that's something that the older generation doesn't quite have a grasp on. And, like, even as a millennial, sometimes I'm like, whoa, like, that's crazy that really the algorithms are built to continue to feed you the same information that if you liked one article Mm -hmm. that you saw on Facebook or, you know, one post on Instagram, it's going to keep feeding you similar things because it wants you to stay on the app and stay engaged. So it's going to make sure, oh, they like this? I'm going to feed you more. I'm going to feed you more. Like, Like, what was that documentary? What did you say? The Social Dilemma dilemma on Netflix. But I think that the older generation is kind of in that hole where they're just being fed the same information over and over again. And they're, they're thinking, oh, I'm so knowledgeable. I'm getting all this useful information and yeah. I'm so well read. And it's like, yeah, you're getting information, but is it, are you, are you seeing both sides of it? You know? Yeah. So it's so much misinformation. So a quick, quick little story. Um, when I used to work at an office, so before the panini worked in an office <laughs> with like a bunch of people, um, one of my, fr- my mom's friends who works in news, by the way, should know like what, like the sources are, like what to, like what is real what's not real but like it's just like part of that whatsapp generation they just mm-hmm. see like a meme and they're like oh this must be true send it to everyone oh, no. so this person 
um, read somewhere that Richard Gere had died. And my, that's my mom's, one of my mom's favorite actors. So she sent it to me. And I was like, oh, that's sad. Richard Gere died. Um, and she, like, told me. She didn't, like, send me, like, a, like, the meme. But she told me what this guy had said. So then I went around to everyone in my office. And I was like, oh, it appears that Richard, that Richard Gere has died. Everyone in the office was like, wait, what? We haven't heard anything about it. Wait, huh? And, and they looked it up. And it was nowhere on the internet. It wasn't true. So, like, that kind of stuff just, like, travels so yeah. quickly. So, like, of course, like, people who, like, don't know to be like, hmm, let me double check that. They're just going to see something and then they're going to believe it, which yeah. goes back to that same point. Like, exactly. oh, you know, vegan person dies. And then it's like, oh, because they fell off a cliff. And they just yeah, happened yeah. to be vegan. It's like, oh, look, see, it's like a terrible thing. You know, it's just that kind of thing. It's just, like, is a cycle and it's, like, a toxic thing. So, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm on TikTok. One of the things that Gen Z always does is they're like, what's your source? What's your source? They really do. I see it in the comments all the time. And they're like, what's your source? Can you send me your source? And they really will link each other's sources. Yeah. I'm like, wow. But I respect that. That's awesome. I mean, yeah, I respect they're like, they're at least, they're checking sources. Yeah. You know, rather than just believing out straight out the gate. Yeah. Obviously, I'm generalizing. I decided I'm Gen Z. Will you guys take us? Will you accept us? (laughs) Please accept us into your group. (laughs) I saw a thing on Twitter where, like, someone was saying something and, like, the source was listed right under the thing because it came from, like, a a news outlet presented it, but, like, the source was, like, some sort of, like, journal, whatever. And everybody, a good amount of people in the comments were like, what's the source? And people are like, it says it in the That tells you how little people People read read. articles. They read a headline. That's Like, they just see something they don't agree with and they're like source yeah that's the problem or too people will send yeah. me a podcast or a youtube video trying to like debunk veganism and I, i'm like <laughs> where's the scientific sources there's no scientific yeah. sources someone's this is, opinion this, yeah this is yeah. an opinion piece yeah. like i don't yeah. this so, is an opinion piece. unless there's research that's proven and yeah. it's not biased then i don't give it's, a crap what this person said yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. those people who tried to be vegan for two months and yeah. then and they got t- every day yeah then, they got yeah. tired and felt fatigued so now they like spend their whole entire life hating veganism yeah, yeah. yeah. and they decided to start a blog so i know this is kind of reaching because we're not quite to you know the holidays that you give gifts to gifts for yet but what do you guys do or have you encountered this where you get a gift that's not vegan i received some uggs (gasps) like this is literally what is it sheep hair yeah Mm -hmm. i'm like these are sheep hair and i literally didn't know what to do with them I think if that were me, I would probably just sell it on Poshmark or Depop. And then Since they're brand new. They're brand new. Yeah. It's not cr- really necessarily creating a demand for them because, you know, somebody mm. shopping on that site is shopping for yeah. secondhand anyways. And then that way you can take that money and buy some vegan shoes and support, like, a vegan company. Yeah. yeah. But that's hard. It's yeah. Like, there's no hard. right answer, yeah. really. Maybe, yeah. like, depending on where it's from, obviously, like, maybe, like, if they don't give you a receipt, because a lot of people don't give, give, give yeah. receipts. Maybe, like, call the place where they bought it and just be like, hey, I purchased this, uh, or someone got me this gift, but, you know, X, Y, and Z, I don't want it. Can I exchange it, like, store credit? Can I get something else at the store? Yeah. Like, they're yeah. not going to give you your money back. Yeah, I think like, that's a good idea. Like, sometimes, even if you don't have a receipt places, like, we'll honor it. They'll see that you bought it there. Yeah. Um, and they'll be like, okay, yeah, we just can't give you your money back, but you'll get store credit, which is fine, because then you can get anything else mm-hmm. there. I do think they're more lenient, too, like, after the holidays. I think they're all just so burnt out that yeah, they're more probably. lenient with returns, so... Has that ever happened to any of you guys? That, uh, I don't know. Honestly, most of my friends for my birthday and stuff will buy me makeup and that kind Mm -hmm. of stuff, but they know, they know cruelty-free makeup, so I'm lucky that I haven't encountered that problem yet. I feel like we've had, like, family maybe send us chocolates over the holidays and they're not vegan, so we just, like, give them to someone who, like, I'll give them to someone at work who I know isn't vegan or something. Because that's not even worth the conversation. Yeah, it's Yeah, it's like... It has, it's like a chocolate bar with milk in it, so we just get rid of it yeah. You know? yeah yeah but nothing really big like a pair of uggs like yeah. i think personally if i had that issue i would probably do what alessandra did if i don't feel comfortable talking to this person and saying hey like you know i'm vegan like I, i'm really passionate against you, you know yeah. animal cruelty whatever do you mind if i give these back to you no disrespect like so you can return them yeah or if you don't yeah. want to have that conversation just go alessandra's route and call the store and yeah. be like you know, yeah, yeah, like, and if you approach them the right way, be like, hey, thank you so much for the present. Like, yeah. it was really nice of you to do this, but, like, I, I actually don't wear this because of this. Mm-hmm. Um, I would love to get something else at this at the store where you got it at. Do you happen to have a gift for seat? Oh, you don't? Okay, cool. I'll... Yeah. yeah. But because what are you going to get at Uggs, you... though? Everything is literally... They do oh. actually have one vegan pair well, of shoes. They, but they, they do? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Are they well, cute? Well, but if they... they... They're um, eccentric. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you have to figure out where they bought them though, because if they bought them at the Ugg store, then that's one thing. But if yeah. they bought them at like Macy's, then right. you can't get anything. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So 
I do, I do think that's a good tip to have a conversation with someone, especially if it's someone in your life who's going to be giving you more gifts exactly. in the future. Yeah, you, don't want, like, you don't want a second pair of Uggs next year. Yeah, exactly. You don't yeah. want to constantly be like returning stuff and like feeling bad about it because right. then, you know, they're, you, I always worry like, oh, they're not going to see me wear it. And yeah, I feel and bad. that's worse. Yeah. That's worse. Yeah. Well, more than likely, I'm assuming if this is a person who's close enough in your life to give you a gift like yeah. that, like they're not going to be offended. If And if anything, right. they'll, they'll know like, oh, and then, yeah, my bad, and that's like my year, mind. I know you're yeah. vegan. Like, now, like now I know for the future yeah. right, to look out for vegan things and, yeah. I, and I feel like people really are respectful of that like yeah that there was there was one year for Christmas that I thought I thought my coworker gave me like a wool jacket mm. and I saw it and it felt like wool and I'm like Sss. but then I looked at the material and it wasn't wool oh, it was just like that. it was just like all like <laughs> synthetic stuff and You're I was like, like oh anxiety I, for no reason yeah good thing I didn't have to have that conversation <laughs> yeah. now I could wear this jacket cool yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah I would love to hear what you guys think and what you do when that happens to you in the comments I feel like there's probably a lot of really good advice out there and Mm -hmm. one thing that none of us can speak to but I'm super interested in is how moms navigate that because that is definitely something that I feel like if somebody's giving your kids gifts like it's not like you can just take the gift back from your kid like your kid if your kid's young they're gonna be like what the heck like you know I'm sure there's some great tips for moms so please sound off in the comments because I just feel like that's such a difficult thing to navigate you know you want to be so it's so such a nice thought it's so generous when people give you gifts but then if you're not definitely picture like when I have a child one day, like inviting people to the child's birthday party and like putting on the invite, gifts. like oh, cruelty free and animal yeah. free only, gi-. like you yeah, know, like yeah. yeah. As if you, you if, if not, gift cards only. Please. Gift cards yeah. only, yeah. please. Or money. Yeah, <laughs> cash. We'll take cash. Yeah, yeah no, because seriously. especially getting gifts from families too. Like I'm sure people's parents have bought them stuff on accident because they mm-hmm. don't really know. They're like, yeah. wait, those shoes aren't vegan. I thought you just yeah. didn't eat this or that or oh yeah. that makeup's not vegan mm-hmm. like you know yeah exactly a lot yeah. of people just people don't, don't think know. leather they're yeah. like oh you're you're just vegan with diet yeah, yeah. I've, yeah. I've been vegan now for eight years and to this day my dad doesn't know how to look for vegan ice cream at the store <laughs> he will show up with like a mango light diet ice cream and he'll be like look i got it for you and i'm like dad there's milk in that's not but it's light it's diet and i'm like Father, yeah, Father. there was a milk in it. And he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> or recently I went somewhere and they were like, oh, you guys can eat the ice cream. It's it's uh, it's lactose free, and I'm like, it's still it's cow like, milk. Still I find, I mean, milk, uh, it's just, it, but people I mean, don't I get know. it. I get, yeah. I, get it. Mar- I get that there's a market for the lactose free thing, but it's like there, there's so many other options that oh are God. naturally oh. lactose free naturally why lactose like do free. so much to the milk that you have that you make it lactose, lactose free I mean, what are they doing to that milk to make it lactose free first no of all idea. and then you're eating yeah. it they're going know. in there just get some yeah. oh, no one talks about how that's like unnatural and processed yeah it's so weird that no one right. talks about that but it's so unnatural and, <laughs> and, proce- and processed yeah. for us to eat how we eat yeah but oh you bring up beyond meat and people have a problem with all seven oh, ingredients oh in they love to say oh well doesn't that have this and that isn't that made and isn't impossible made up soy and like they have oh, so yeah. much like to say. It's like there's seven things in there, and like four or five of them are like plant, like derived. It's or, like just because it has a scientific name doesn't mean it's gonna kill you. It's like beet juice. Yeah, like, yeah. Exactly. But it's like Betelius. Mm-hmm. Betelius, <laughs> whatever. Or like the people who are upset about like just egg being processed, and it's like, uh, okay, but at the same time, you're probably feeding your kids frozen dino nuggets. But yes, the just egg is too or, processed. Right. Or hot dogs, and they're having hot Cheetos. Yeah, they, yes. like they just all become food experts. I know. And health experts yeah. all I, of a sudden. Yeah. I can't remember. Is processed. Your meat is processed. Yes. Yeah. Your, your pasta sauce is processed. Process. Everything yeah. is Your processed. Your shampoo is processed. Yeah. Baby, unless you're living on a farm or on an island and eating fresh fruits and vegetables straight from the source. It's I'm sorry. Processed. It's sad it's to say processed. we live in a processed world. You're yeah. eating processed Your snacks food. are processed. Yeah. Everything is processed. Yeah. yeah, I can't remember the last time I saw a hot Cheeto tree. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my God. That's such a good comeback. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's a good one. I like that one. Okay. Claps. She is ready. She is ready. She is ready she and approved <laughs> for the holidays. Hot, hot tree, oh my god! Oh. Rennick, with the fucking puns. Like, Rennick coming in with the puns. Congratulations, Rennick. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
congratulations, jokes. Alessandra. You are ready and certified for the holidays. I'm leveled up. Ready. <laughs> She's ready to fight. Oh, yeah, I feel prepared. I feel prepared because I will avoid all meat eaters on Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah and I think I'm going to avoid the Friendsgivings this yeah. year. If you guys have a hard time, just sound off in the Facebook group. It's a super safe space, mm-hmm. and we are, like... I anytime I need to vent that's like where I go to and like honestly I'll find somebody else venting where I don't even need to vent anymore because I'm like oh this person gets it yeah you know yeah so definitely you you are free to vent there that is a safe space I hope that you guys feel safe here and if you want to just sound off in the comments too yeah we're here for you we're here for you so listening hopefully you got some good tips from us today. yeah let us know the best clapbacks that you've given people yes Yes. because then maybe we could use each other's clapbacks yeah let us know your plans for the festivities (laughs) don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you leave subscribe to our channel we'll link all of our individual social medias down below go say hi to us we love you (laughs) we love you when you join the facebook group make sure to answer the questions or we won't let you in yes Yes. (laughs) and we will see you guys next week for another episode of the the vegan vegan game. game